everybody and welcome back to Luca Plays. If it is your first time here, double welcome to you. Also, I love you. Today, uh, I guess I'm kind of just feeling in the mood for anime shit lately. And I know what some people might be thinking. Luca, Crisis Core is anime as fuck. However, Crisis Core is not fun to play. So, it's quarantine, baby. I'm not gonna do shit that I don't want to do. And I'm really, uh, I'm really in the mood for Digimon shit. I, I spent like 14 hours over the last two days playing Digimon World Next Order. And that's not a good game for Let's Play. That's a very slow, repetitive game that has a kind of iffy, uh, English dub. Which is what we would be playing for the sake of content. Um, so, we are going to play Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Um... I've played, like, a little bit of this game previously, um, and I like it a lot. It's very much in the style of Persona, um, which I am all about, and it has very few of the shortcomings that I have complained about at length uh, that Persona has. So, oh, so, why is this lady speaking Japanese at me? Is that the default? Does this game have an English dub? Well, uh, I'm fairly certain this game should have an English dub, right? I kind of had to sit through this, so, like, there's nothing I can do. So, we are, hopefully, going to do both Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory. Um, depending on, I guess, if I decide that I want to carry on a full Let's Play of Cyber Sleuth. Which is really dependent on my mood at this point. Um, I think, I think that shows in how I have started and canceled two separate LPs within the course of, like, the last couple weeks. So, hopefully, this will, uh, this will stick. Hey, uh, there's no language options. So it doesn't have a dub, which is fine, um, because if Next Order is anything to go by, the dub probably wouldn't be great. However, this is going to require that people pay attention to the video, which is unfortunate. <laughs> um, so, whatever. Well, wait, hold on. Why is this not reading my buttons as... As dual shock. Oh wait, that sucks. That's unfortunate. I don't like that as much. Oh well, we'll deal with it because we have to. I'm just going to quietly sip my coffee while this cutscene is happening because it's fairly long. It's a very cute cutscene though. I like it a lot. This game's representation of what chat rooms in this world look like is very, very interesting and cool. I like it a lot. I guess I don't have to be quiet through this because it's not voiced. And also, it would be in Japanese regardless, right? So, these, like, these little, like, I don't know, avatars? I love them a lot. Akino's, Akino is super fucking cute. Digimon do, in fact, sound nuts. You're right. 
even knowing what Digimon are. It's nuts. I like how there's somebody in the chat named Dark Knight Satan. Like the most obvious like edgelord <laughs> character possible. Also, I love the ramen head. That one's really good, too. So I will say for context, I have no idea what that's about. Or I know, I know what this Mr. Navid is setting up, but I don't know, I don't know the goal. I really like, like this... These little, like, uh, barks for the avatars really remind me of Banjo-Kazooie. And it's bringing, like, this huge wave of nostalgia. I'm in. Oh. I literally say that. I feel like this avatar, this, like, this character is going to be a good representation of me. That's just a haunch. I like how this, like, little narration here doesn't suggest that they ever went to sleep, which is wild. They literally pulled an all-nighter. And then were like, okay, let's go do this event thing. Um... Okay, so, I don't think we're gonna do a goofy name for this one. Because I kind of want to take this game moderately seriously. Because I, like, again, I'm super feeling Digimon right now. Um, so, I really hate that hitting enter there is what I had to do, and yet it still pinged Windows. That's really annoying. Also, we will probably, we'll, we'll be giving the Digimon the, uh, the goofy names. I have a couple... That I have planned that are just named after friends. Uh, but after that, we will be giving our Digimon Goofy names. So I'm excited for that. It's definitely one specific Digimon I need to have. Uh, named after my OC. Uh, so that's going to be... That's probably not going to be the first one that we get, because I don't think we have the option for that. Wow, that was a weird freeze. Hopefully that's not a recurring trend. This cutscene is also very good. It's like it has a very, very nice style to it. In fact, the entire, like, aesthetic of this game, and Digimon games in general, is, like, very much up my alley. It's, it's, like, really gritty and grungy, and, like, it's a lot of, like, it's just mess. It is digital mess, and I'm here for it, but there's also the weird, like, this, where it's, like, really, really clean. It, I don't know. Like, we'll, get, we'll obviously get to the more messy parts later, but they're so good and so cool. Like, Digimon World uh, Next Order really gets the, uh, the overall aesthetic of Digimon really, really, really well. And I feel like I do want to at least, like, 
stream that at some point because that would be a good stream game. Not a good Let's Play game, though. Okay, so. I will say, something that this does better than um, Persona is the, uh, they don't do sprites. They do, like, 3D models that at like, that animate and emote and stuff like that, um, which I think I prefer because a lot of the static image sprites in Persona are, like, they don't express the full complexity of the emotions that characters should probably be feeling. Um, and having the characters actually animate during conversation is probably a lot cleaner and ex more expressive. Um, alright. So, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to. It's been so long since I've actually played this. Actually, no, it hasn't been that long. It's been like a few months. I think I played it like late last year. Um, I didn't get very far. Hey, dude. There's a ghost going around Eden. A white boy. <laughs> huh. There's a white boy going around Eden, huh? Uh, the demon of creeping darkness. Okay. That's a good rumor. It's that's cool. That sounds that sounds excellent. That sounds like something I very much want to get involved with. Uh and likely won't have much choice either way. Ooh. Okay, I don't, that did nothing for me. The community area. It's an open area just like the entrance, so you can get there from any terminal. Okie dokie. Also, this character design is like really cute. They even have like the goggles that are like typical of a Digimon protagonist, and I think that's really cute. It's like it's so nice to have that little like consistent piece of uh of character design between Digimon protagonists. Okay, look, a lot of ellipses there. That's that's fantastic. Good writing. That sounds like a plan. Also, this run cycle. Quite good. Is there... Is there... What's the... Uh, not bad. Not bad on skiing, but... Also, not fantastic. Okay, yeah, I know. Thank you. Yeah, you don't need to give me the full tutorial on this. Please. It's fine. It's okay. Man, there sure doesn't appear to be any anime protagonists here, so I'm going to assume that my friends aren't here. Oh. Is it... Hi! It's Mr. Navit. Galacta Park in Kowloon. Oh. Okay. What is... Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, calm. keep calm. Cool head. That's weird, given, like, uh, context that we will have later. So this is, this is establishing, like, um... We get keywords that we can, uh ask, like, NPCs about, um, to help in our investigation and get, like, evidence and clues and, uh, addresses. Go talk to a hacker. Good idea. I wonder if that guy with the hood over his face is a hacker. Which I don't think he, I don't, he wasn't here, was he? Oopamon. I don't know what that one is. There are a lot of Digimon that, like, I don't know. I feel like I only know... This is going to be very, uh... In the vein of Pokemon. I think I really only know, like... For the most part, the first generation Digimon? Do they... Do Digimon have generations? Uh, are they, are they like, clearly delineated like that? Or is it, like... They just kind of add them wantonly without it being, like... Specifically like that. I feel like that's probably differentiated by, like, um, which anime they were added in, right? I wonder if this game has, like, I remember, um, 
one of the anime folks like fused with their Digimon, and I thought that was a really cool idea. And I don't think, at least from what I've experienced, I don't think many of the games actually do anything with that, even though it's a really cool concept. It is, however, an incredibly anime concept, so maybe they don't want to play too much into that. But it is very, like, Super Sentai, which I think is really cool. God, these cutscenes are so nice. Also, I fucking love this character. She's so good. She's so good. I love bitchy anime characters. 100% my type. Are these, uh... I wonder if these are ever voiced. Obviously not from our protagonist, because we're a silent protagonist, but... Oh, they are. Okay, cool. Not that it matters, because it's not dubbed, but... It's a very cute voice, regardless. Like, ah, oh, She's so good! This voice actress is, like, very, very good. Oh. I'm already, like, melting. <laughs> so he has good looks. That's that's a plus. I can't remember which character he is. I think he's a cute anime boy. I mean, obviously he's an anime boy. But I think he's a cute anime boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a cute anime boy. <laughs> I, I really, I kind of really wish this game had a dub. But, like, at the same time, Nokia's voice actress is very good. Also, this intro is, by my recollection, fairly long. It's not Persona long, thankfully. Because, uh, we recently streamed Persona 5. And Persona 5 takes five hours to get to active gameplay. I think we should probably maybe get through the intro stuff in this first episode. Maybe the second. No, probably the second. He does have this weird look in his eye. Oh, so he should be like, I'm right here. <laughs> Come on, dude. Is Mr. Navid a ghost? Well, that load of good you are. Wow, hey, that, that word got away from me. My brain randomly switched... Load with lot. Oh, hi. I really like the aesthetic of, like, cute mascot that is probably evil. 
It's a very good aesthetic. I guess that's... Oh, God, I just realized that that's going to be relevant soon. That's going to be very relevant soon, because we're, we're... I'm starting a... There's going to be a third anime LP on the channel. Uh... So that's a thing. Yeah, no shit. What other Digimon would it be, Nokia? Okay. Can everybody do that cool screen thing, or is it just you? Are you searching like a wiki? Hell yeah, dude! I like how I have had, like, absolutely no input in this conversation at all. Like, I'm not even here, really. God, her outfit is so cute, too. I never noticed that it has, like, a... It has, like, the cute stitching on, like, the side of the dress. That is... Very kind, eh, now that I think about it. Whoops. I don't want to rush through this stuff because I also need to give you guys a chance to read it as well. Whoa. Uh... That's obviously not Mr. Navid. That's that's a human person. I like how we look like we could very much be siblings. Oh. That's inconvenient. Yeah, you know, we didn't get our gift yet, so I assume Mr. Navid did that. Yeah, probably. Nokia. You're... You're a bit slow on the uptake, which is fine. Uh, because you're pretty. And cute. So, uh... But, uh, c come on. Get up to speed. We are in a really weird situation here. So what, do you want me to leave you alone? Would that be preferable for you? With ghosts and monsters around? I don't think that's, like, your jam, Nokia. All right. I guess I will leave you alone. Have fun. Do I have to hit X to progress? No, I don't. Thank God. <laughs>